Good morning! My name is Megan Wynn. And my name is Lasada Ramos. And today we're here in Sacramento on the American River, just below Nimbus Dam on Nisanon land, and we're gonna go fly fishing! What is fly fishing? Great question, Lasara. So fly fishing is a special type of fishing that uses flies instead of bait. Flies mimic insects, which are the natural diet of fish. And later on today, we're gonna go see if we can catch whatever bugs are out there in the river. Hey Lasara, why do you like fly fishing? I like fly fishing because I get to hang out with my friends, I get to be outdoors near the river, and the best part is I get to learn about the river ecosystem and the fish and see what they're doing with the changing seasons. Yeah, I think that's great. Fly fishing gets me out to these new places I don't know to explore, and I didn't know there were fish in before. So cool. Yeah, so we just went onto the river and used this just small dip net to see what bugs we found. One of us was kicking the sediment and then I was, um, I had this net downstream to catch all of the sediment um, flowing through the net. Then we put it into this bowl where you can kind of see all the bugs and with all the rocks and we're going to sorting them out into this ice tray to see what we got. So come on and take a closer look. Look what we got, Lostra. What are your first reactions to seeing how many bugs we got? I'm amazed. This is so cool. I've heard about these. I've seen them on the internet, but I've never seen them in person. Mm -hmm. So it's so special to like put a name to the face. Yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking? I think it's just really cool to see the variety of how many bugs we caught. Counting the species richness and species uh, abundance of bugs can, is also one way we can tell how healthy a river is doing. So the fact that we have a diverse group of bugs just from that few pulls that we did goes to show that this stream is pretty productive, which is a good sign. It's awesome. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can try to identify some of the species that we have here. Look who we ran into on the river. It's our, our friend and professional fly fisherman, Michael Weir. Welcome. Awesome. So we got some bugs and we're wondering if you can help us identify some of them. Yeah, that's a pretty good catch you got here. This is a good example kind of a nice breakdown of the different types of insects that you would find right here in this river and we have a good variety here we've got some caddis we've got some mayflies we've got some midges and then we even have a couple little worms in there so by catching these bugs you get a real good indication of exactly what the fish are eating and so that's what we try to do with fly fishing is imitate the actual day-to-day -day diet of the fish and that's how typically you're gonna have the most success as a fisherman if you can imitate what the fish are actually eating so let's look at how some of these flies correspond to some of these bugs. So right here we have uh, a Ryacophla caddis, which is kind of a, a type of caseless caddis. And these guys live down there on the rocks. And so that would be imitated by say something like this guy here. Kind of looks a lot like that little caddis that you got jumping around down in there. So that would be a good example of a kind of fly that you would try to imitate that type of caddis. Here you've got a mayfly crawler. This is um, probably a drake nymph. It might be a little brown drake. And so if you look here, we have some nymphs that imitate that kind of bug. So if you look at this mayfly here, you can see he's got kind of a broad profile, a little tail and some legs sticking out. Now if you look at this fly here, you can see that's really similar. It's got the abdomen, the thorax, the head. It's got six legs and a little tail. And so that would pretty accurately imitate that insect right there. And so that's really what we're trying to do with fly fishing is imitate the natural diet of the trout. Check out this worm that we caught too. It's pretty long and it kind of mimics this kind of fly that one could use in this river. Wow, that was so cool. It's amazing to see how many different types of bugs there are in the river and to see how they match with the flies we're using so that we can catch more fish. I'm so glad you enjoyed that, Lasserat. We learned today that fish eat bugs and more bugs means more fish. 
and more fish is an indicator of healthy waters. And healthy waters means a better California for all. So if you want to learn more about California's rivers, native salmon and steelhead and trout, check out caltrout.org. And thanks for joining us today. Hope you had a good time. It was great. All right, see you next time. Bye. Bye.